What's up guys, David here, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to SIM unlock the iPhone 7. It's worth noting that this method also works for the iPhone 7 Plus and pretty much any other iPhone out there. So the first thing you're going to want to do is turn off Find My iPhone, which you can do by going into the settings, then iCloud, then Find My iPhone, and then flip the switch to the off position. Once you've done that, go back to the home screen and open up the dialer and dial star pound zero six pound to bring up your iPhone's IMEI number. Write this number down and make sure that you get it right as you're gonna need it later. The next step is to get the unique unlock code that your phone needs from an unlocking service. And soon enough you'll get an email that looks something like this telling you that your iPhone 7 has been unlocked. And from here all you have to do is enter in an unaccepted SIM card. So basically any SIM card that isn't from the carrier your phone is locked to. So in my case since the phone is locked to AT&T I'll enter in a T-Mobile SIM card and then all you have to do is connect the phone to Wi-Fi and that's it your iPhone will be officially unlocked. Hey guys, Keaton here with TechSmart, and today we're doing an iPhone 6 water test, as so many of you guys enjoyed our iPhone 5S water test last year. So this is the iPhone 6, as it is a lot thinner, a lot lighter, has kind of a new shape, and it has a power on and power off button on the right side, instead of the top this year. And looking on the phone, we can see an extra row of icons and a few other characteristics, as this does have a 4.7 inch display, but Apple did release the iPhone 6 Plus, which has a 5.5 inch display. So without further delay, let's go ahead and get dropping. So I filled my sink up with some water and I'm actually going to start a stopwatch on this guy just to see how long it lasts when it is submerged and just get an idea of how long it can be underwater before problems start to occur. So immediately once it's submerged we can actually see air bubbles coming out from the headphone jack and lightning port. This pretty much means water is going into the phone because when water goes in one place air has to come out the other. So it's just going to start to air bubble for the next minute or so and then problems might occur. So the stopwatch has been going perfectly fine and then at 53 seconds or so the phone stops and that's kind of when you know the problems have hit the phone. We can see that now the right side of the phone has become black and it's just going to spread amongst the entire device. Kind of glitch out a bit here and at this point you know your phone is pretty much fried. So air bubbles are still coming out of the phone, although it is not turning on. So I'm just going to take it out, try to power it on, and see if we have any luck. As last year I was able to, and then a blue screen did come on. So just hitting the power button on the side, it doesn't appear that anything is working. I've actually done the hard reset method where you hold the power button down for 5 seconds, then you do it with the home button for 10 seconds, and then let it go and hold down the home button for another 5 seconds, and it appears this phone is completely fried. 
So right after I was all down on my luck, actually something kind of cool happened. Somehow the flash on this phone just started to go off at different kind of variations and it started to pulse at one point, then would just go on. And I found this pretty cool as when you have a broken iPhone, at least you have a flashlight that can operate. And I actually went outside shortly after that and was just going around with my iPhone 6 as it is pretty much just a flashlight at this current moment. And right now the flash is still on. That might be because it has a larger battery. And I'll try to charge it after the fact and just see if I have an iPhone flashlight now as this is a rarity. So thank you guys so much for watching this water test where we tested out the iPhone 6 versus H2O. Now the reason I do these tests is some phones that don't claim that they can stand up to water actually did. And my prime example here is the HTC One M8 and it still works to this day. So if you guys enjoyed this water test then go and give this video a big thumbs up and go and subscribe to the channel to be notified when more iPhone 6 and 6 Plus content does come around. Thank you guys once again and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.